Hey, Zombieland 2 looks like it might be happening. Mark Riley, John Rucker, we're going to talk about that next. All right, Mark Riley, this is coming to us straight from Vulture. Rhett Reese and Paul Warnick, they have been, you know, they've been writing a bunch of things over the last 10 years since Zombieland broke. They've been involved in uh, Deadpool 2, right? They're currently working on Michael Bay 6 Underground, a board game adaptation of the Clue film, yeah. the adaptation for Clue, the Chris Pat vehicle, com Cowboy Ninja Viking. Their original script for it has mostly gone by the way, but they're still producing it. Right. And YouTube Red series Wayne. That's all the things they've been working on over the last 10 years. But Busy people, guys. Yeah, but people have been clamoring for them to do a sequel to Zombieland 2. Of course, the film that starred Emma Stone, Jesse Eisenberg, Woody Harrelson, Abigail Breslin, and sadly Bill Murray in this <laughs> film. Uh, so they're coming up on the 10th anniversary of uh, Zombieland, and they were interviewed about it Vol with Vulture and Vulture, and here's the quotes from Warnick. He said, we're going on the 10th anniversary of Zombieland. Zombieland came out October of 2009. We don't know what you get someone for their 10th anniversary, but it may be Zombieland 2. He hedged. He teased a little but he said, the hope is that we're shooting that thing early in 2019 for an, Octo an October of 2019 release. We are sitting on information that we can't entirely share at this moment, but we can just say we think fans of Zombieland who have been hoping for Zombieland 2 that we will grant their wish very, very soon. Okay, Riley, mm. Collider Nightmares, you're a massive fan of Zombieland. Tell me, when you hear all this news, are you excited? I'm very excited. Uh, I think Zombieland 2 is a no-brainer. I, I, I was I was wondering why we hadn't gotten one sooner because it became kind of a cult following. It's such a great movie. Um, when you find that balance between humor and horror and do it well, like yep. an Evil Dead or you know something like that, Gremlins uh, springs to mind as well. Yeah. You, you want to jump on this. I like that they also said that the original cast, by the way, mm -hmm. will be back because. I wouldn't want a Zombieland 2 that kind of focused on other survivors. I think the reason Zombieland works so well is because of Emma Stone, yeah. Jesse Eisenberg, and Woody Harrelson. I, I want them back in Abigail Breslin. I, I can't wait. I am excited. I wonder what they uh, have up their sleeve and if we're going to hear an announcement very soon. Because if they're yeah. talking about this, obviously on the Deadpool 2 circuit, how close are we to yeah. getting that official announcement and a studio and a green light and all that jazz? Yeah, and it's interesting to explore this thing, right? Are they together now, Abigail? I mean, uh, uh, Jesse and Emma Stone? Are right. they together? Are they a couple? Are they married? Which you can, uh, I don't know if you can be in a post apocalyptic I, I world. I would love to see whatever that version what is. What is it like to get married in a post apocalyptic yeah. world? Right. That's the movie I want to see. Right. Damn, I stumbled on that. Do I like they have that. another child? Is yeah. Woody, as essence, their dad? Is Abigail their little sister? Like all this stuff they could play around with uh, to explore these relationships relationships more and then who do they run into that could be a maybe a romantic rival for Emma Stone maybe this kind of situation with Woody Harrelson maybe he finds someone he wants to fall in love with you know and are there going to be more hostess Twinkies in yeah. the movie so there's going to say does he get those hostess Twinkies finally <laughs> yeah there's, there's so much to explore here but it is exciting to see it coming back I, I'm worried 10 years later if they can really capture the magic because Zombieland was just such a great insular film and yes sure. it did leave the possibility for a sequel but do we really need one but the fact that people have been clamoring for it so so much means they want to satisfy the public's demand. And maybe they took this long because they want to get it right. Maybe maybe so. I wonder how long they've been working on it, if, if the idea, the nugget of the idea has been yeah. bouncing around in their head. But you're right. We've seen these movies. I know they come in comedies, moreover, like Anchorman and Dumb right. and Dumber, you know, when you don't get that magic mm -hmm. because it's so many years later and, and for whatever reason that doesn't work. So I hope, I think it's a great point, though, are we? Do they really have a story to tell? Yeah. And is it going to be as good as the original? Usually not, but is it going to be a worthy successor? That remains to be seen if it even gets done. Yeah, I mean, the 10-year wait is a long wait, so that you is. wonder how much of that they've already mapped out. And But with these screenwriters, with all the stuff they're working on, I'm sure they've been working on this baby as well, so we'll see what they come up with. We'll look forward to more news, maybe through Vulture or other outlets, about uh, what uh, uh, Reese and Warnick are going to be doing. So hopefully they'll knock that, they'll have it going by next year so people like Riley and massive fans of Zombie and we'll enjoy seeing the sequel come out later this year, which is yeah. a really fast turnaround, so we'll see. Uh, thanks, everybody, for watching here. What do you all think? Do you want to see a Zombieland 2 sequel? Is it too late, or, or is it right on time? Let us know in the comments section below. Let us know what you thought about uh, this idea of recent Warner coming back to it after 10 years. Do you like that idea as well? Remember to like and share this video on your social media and subscribe to Collider Video. We will talk to you real soon.